Blowing glass is a lot harder than it looks. Let's talk about that. A good mythical morning. Now, before we get started, we want to remind you that we have another animated song biscuit launching tomorrow morning. Looking down from heaven, I see my flat carcass in front of 7 Eleven. Also, we've got another episode of Ear Biscuits every Friday, y'all. This time it's Charles Trippy out today on iTunes and SoundCloud. Check it out. Now, when you're an entertainer, you gotta prepare for the day when nobody cares enough anymore to click on your face. It's what you do. So as you guys know, we've been going out into the world to search for what else we might be good at with a little help from our friends at Geico. Hey. Are you ready for another field trip? Yes. This time we decided to try glass blowing. It's time for the, the backup, backup plan. plan. 2,000 degrees. That's hot. Hot enough to turn glass into goop. Josh Gelfand is a glass blower. He takes this fiery nectar and uses ancient techniques to forge it into epic objects like vases, lamps, flowers, and whatever that thing is. Could this be our future? Hey, hey. 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 How's hey, it going? Mike. Nice to meet you, I'm Kevin. Josh. Josh, this is Josh, your spot. I'm Rhett. Hey. Glass, glass balls. Mm -hmm. Gla we call them spheres just to avoid any, you know. How much money would you lose if Link fell into this table and broke all these? Because that's likely. There's like a 70% chance that that will happen. <laughs> it's a couple thousand dollars worth of hand-blown glass here. So. Oh, snap! You ever do that? I prefer to Ooh. wear glass uh, if I can get it over my head. Wear that thing. Welcome to the future. It is the year 2045. I am Wi-Fi connected to every other human on Earth. <laughs> Hello, I am Barry. Hello, I also am Barry. All the berries are connected. Would you like to pick some berries? Uh. I didn't think it could make that sound. <laughs> Whoa! You took it up a notch. That could be an intimidating thing. Do you have competition around here? Because every morning you could just direct that towards the other glass blowers. We're more of a community than a competition. So, but that would be the call out. Like, I need some help today. This looks like a beret. It's like, oh wee oui, wee, oui, monsieur. We don't, have, we don't have to make everything into hats. What is the best first test for a couple of guys with zero hours of glass blowing experience? Yeah, the first thing I like to do is to just get you comfortable handling the material. It's 2,000 degrees at the end of a gathering iron. This is the hot shot. Good gosh, it's like walking into Hades. If I were to grab that, it would sear and cook my hand. Yes. Ugh. Look at that thing. Oh, what, what did you do? You just, you just poked in there and pulled out a whole cauldron. Yeah, so, so here you go. Try turning this, and then you want to just keep turning while you blow. Oh, your whole body turned red. Turn oh. hard and squeeze. All right, stop blowing. Ready? Blow. Here you go. Squeeze. Blow a little. Stop blowing. Whoa! Oh. Oh. And... Bubba, bubba. Now, how hot is this right now? Like, if I were to touch it with my lips. Eight or nine hundred degrees. Yeah, that I wouldn't it, advise that. Because it, it's so tempting to like either a smash it or be kissing. That's where coordinating with your blow partner. He's my blow partner? He's your blow partner. Yep. So this last time I gathered up some glass and handed it off to you and you made that bubble. Yeah. This time you wanna like dab into the color. It was time to graduate from simple bubbles to next level glass blowing tactics. It was time to bring forth a mythical chalice. Do it, Link, do it. Come on, Link, blow it. Blow it, son! Keep turning now. Keep it turning. And stop. Good. Okay, right. Stop. Keep turning, though. Keep turning? So my expert oh. opinion is that we have a bubble in there. Now we're going to let it cool to get another layer on it. We're going to be double layer bubble buddies. Double layer butter bubbles. Nope. Double layer butter bubbies. Double layer butter bubbles. You got me screwed up now. Double, double layer, layer bubble, bubble buddies. buddies. 
buddy. <laughs> buddy. Double, Double layer, layer bubble, bubble buddy. buddies. Yeah. That's what we are. Lots of turning. You're pushing a little bit. Lower your angle a little bit here so you're touching your bottom, right? Does that make sense? I'm getting an oven tan. Is that possible? You can get like red irritation from the heat. AKA a burn. And Link, if you screw this up, I'm gonna paddle you. Let's use the jacks. Let it, sit, let it adjust, yep. And then turn, turn, turn. Open up for it. We gotta be able to drink out of you. And then go ahead and take that back to the bench. Oh, 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 touch oh, it's okay. Door. Keep turning, oh, come on keep out, turning, come on keep out. Keep turning, come on, oh, come out. Oh, oh. You did something. Level, level, level. Keep turning. Keep, Keep turning. Keep turning, okay. dude. Don't panic. Whoa. Don't panic. Link, it's not we're going to lose it. The Nothing. bubble buddies are going to lose it. Don't, Don't panic. Right. Keep it on center. So tool. pause in that spot. Help make it round. Just go slow at start. Okay. Lifting pressure yeah, up. Pushing turn. Did yeah. the bubble buddy save it? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. The tension is palpable. Oh. Wait for it. Wait. Yeah? Yeah. Might have to do more than one cut. Open and cut, open and cut, open and cut. Whoa! Now grab your tweezers. Hold on oh. to that. Grab your tweezers. Don't blow this, Red. Flash, Kevin. Look at that. <laughs> we just added a handle. We made a chalice. I didn't do anything. Oh. Woo! A little hot in there. Woo! Nice job, nice. guys. Good teamwork. Very good. Boom! That was the highest pressure atmosphere that I've been in vocationally. Spin it, hit it, put it in there. Come on, bubble buddy. Spin it, keep it level. Keep I got it. a paddle. Bring it down. Bring I mean, that's it. some intense stuff. You guys deal with that every day. Surely, mm -hmm. don't burn yourself. You're building up a lot of stress. Every once in a while, you have to just quality control and relieve stress at the same time. Break some stuff. Yeah. yeah. So we can break some stuff. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we present the first annual glass breaking gauntlet. On your mark, get set, break. But first, a quick word of caution. What you're about to see us do, you should not try at home. Or anywhere, really. If you're not at home, still don't try it. Right. Our first sport was glass ball. It's a lot like baseball, but instead of running around the bases, you just break stuff. <laughs> that looks so athletic. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't swung a baseball in a long time. I haven't swung a let's bat get that, Let's get that clear first. <laughs> you're swinging the bat, you're hitting the ball, which is glass. Got it? Yeah! Woo! Switch up, bubble buddy. That was a smacker! Yeah. Felt good, yeah. didn't it? Felt good! Oh, the last blow. That felt good! a higher sound. No, no, that sounds like a woman giving birth. Next up, glass bowling. Blow on my fingers. I'm your bubble buddy, but that's kind of weird. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Feel that you're relieving stress sweeping? I, actually, cleaning is a form of stress relief for me. It gives me a sense of control, right? Hmm. Uh, we're going to play some golf, uh, some glass golf. And of course, we've got glass! Look at that. You think I can hit it? You think I can hit it? I think you can. You may yet. I think it'd be real funny though if it just passed through two of the stems. Yeah, and I didn't think hit it's anything. possible. Let's see what happens. All right. Oh, you, <laughs> you busted a light! We'll pay, we'll pay you back for that, boys. We'll pay you back for that. 
What we, did you we, do? We, I don't know, but we owe you a fluorescent. <laughs> All right, I'm going again. <laughs> Okay, all right, that was a good cut, practice. good cut. Practice. Practice wing. <laughs> okay, all right, well, you know, I mean, um, you get a mulligan. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Looking back on today, we really learned a valuable lesson. That lesson is glass blowing is far more hot and stressful than making internet videos. And glass breaking is strangely therapeutic. We said goodbye to Josh and Kevin, and then the Bubble Buddies had one last thing to do. All right, it's time for the Bubble Buddies to, to make, make their, their exit. exit. Three, two, one, go! We made it back. Oh, you're so out of breath? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, it looks like we're gonna continue to be entertainers for the time being, but we're gonna be drinking out of this mythical, mythical chalice. chalice. No, me drink out of it. This is you my don't. side, that's my side. Hey, we shouldn't pull on this thing, because I don't know, that's we made side. it. I don't, the handle may come on. There's nothing in it, there's air in it. We're drinking air. <laughs> We could put water in it. <laughs> Thanks to Geico for sponsoring this episode. Go to geico.com where 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. Thanks for liking and commenting, liking and commenting, and, and subscribing. subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Parker from West of Ohio. I'm on an indoor board, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. We've got a Tumblr, and if you're on Tumblr, you should go check it out. Click over there, click through to Good Mythical More, where we share our first glass breaking experience as kids got into a little trouble. Red swallowed a time bomb. Uh, I'm back. Hey, uh. Have you seen my time bomb? It was it was like right here beside the mythical chalice. Did it look like a cupcake? No, no. It looked like a time bomb. Yeah, but it was black, sort of around the frosting. Yeah. And it had a little candle on top that was lit. I was like, that's a good looking cup. <laughs> 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 Now, if I swallowed this, you what it. would happen? Like, you get it down. I could. This is about as big as something that I could swallow. 